Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. The Luna Rimskaya uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Novosibirsk in southern Siberia has concluded with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high-magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Fortunately, after their rescue and following a brief rest for technical evaluation, the miners were able to immediately return to work. Moving from the boys, you're to live now. Let me just uh, run through the settings once. So. I think I've set it on high as much as possible. I can even keep this as psycho. So getting around 60 FPS. Hello, agent unknown. What's up, Mandu? Scientific and residential. Ten residential modules are already available for purchase at a starting rate of 100 million euro dollars. A hefty price, yes. But can you Good evening, Night City! My first guest tonight is the president of the Church of Elgin. Bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Praise be to me, our Father in Heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip In program, which promotes the use of cybernetic images. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like us to talk about the most exclusive and highly sought after implant on the market today, Arasaka Corpse Relic. But maybe we ought to make sure our fair audience... Look, look, look. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. That is some kind of scam. You can have a word with the super. Yeah. Open stash noise. Wait, what? Oh yeah, what should I what should we do now? I have to go some go get in the bed, okay. Time to sleep, boys. <laughs> this scene reminds me of a meme. something when I jagged into that corpo's biomine. You know, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Okay, let's go. So, what? You embarrassed? Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Piece of shit! Come on! Oh, no, no, no. Know what the worst thing is about this place? Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? From the very first stages of food. Hello, Moto Blaze. What's up? Suri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City hey, will come out with exquisite multi story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa Virtuoso and theatrical. 
theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation, and in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has participation in the auction. So, uh, what are we going to talk about yesterday? Beyond the Night City, boys! Man of the hour. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Hello, Storm. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens. I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. Important thing is he's back. It's a fresh crew, and he found us. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. All right, let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. I don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex ain't Don't get me started on fixers. They cash a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off. Thanks, Jax. Much Where you appreciated. Going, Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory doom. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Duck at Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? We should not mess around with the city boys. They'll kill us in one second. Find me once Vic's done dusting. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. What? Hey, wait, it's the same guy. Waiting on you. Jobs and skip town for a while. Oh, I get it. 
Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Balor drops his guard. Really starting to weigh him down. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Her name good to see you, chance, too, Coming v. in with a couple of hooks. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting out. real. Nice got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. I need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Hmm. New hands. Mark one, like I said. Jeez. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Oh, shit. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? More dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. 
Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big lift, don't forget where you came from. Mm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid yeah, mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Hmm? How's it going? Hey, how well you know Bug exactly? La mamita got a soft spot for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, she ain't the type you go out and grab a beer with. Don't actually think she got any soft spots anywhere for anybody. Right. You've been with Misty a while, huh? Yeah, about a year. Why? Just asking. Never thought you'd last that long in a stable, healthy relationship. Hey, come on, Mano. You know I was raised right. How's your mom? Shh. Worried about me. Been for a while. Something happened? Started climbing our way up. Got more and more knives out there. Waiting to stab us in the back. Higher stakes, higher risk, Mano. She could see that. Whoa, you gotta v, take a pill? Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in you the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. I don't recognize you. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. You dishonorable. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place and no place, Dex. 
Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Let's, let's try something. So what if we go and uh, reduce the... What if we go and turn off the ray tracing in total? We had like 40 FPS. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Bro, it's the same. What do you mean? Yeah. On and off same? This is cheating. Okay. Okay, how about we keep this as full low? How, how bad? Guessing it is belongs it? to a corp. Oh mm -hmm. shit. This gives Arisaka. me badly double, double the FPS. Let's go ultra with. Okay, let's see how ultra Surely works. Surely that's no problem. 8 FPS in here. Okay, because I'm loading it. Looks bad. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this. Out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Okay, this looks Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Klein, who brought us the jobs, anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the Flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. life or blaze of glory hmm later now
Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. He claimed to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. How can I get down now? There you are. Oh, nice Let me... Then an arch? Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job dividend. Hmm. Then I could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. No skin yet? You got... That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right. The strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. <laughs> so, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. 
It had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, Never know. Go on, let them know we're here. <laughs> v, what you waiting for? <laughs> I want to talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Ah, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. <sighs> Here from the Jack Convoy, gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Who just mean us, Holmes? Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. Got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch. Planet. Look at him. What next? Uh, okay. Well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your Jack, skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Well, all right. Come on, got to lighten up. Take a hit. Okay, just took it. Bear. Now we can talk. This lights, bro. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT Zero D12. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. Oh, and watch this! 
fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm hmm Could lose your lunch. So what you think? It'll have to do. <laughs> Look at that. Picky little fucker. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Huh. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. Boys, it's time to fight. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Is he dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? <laughs> Bang. Cut me right right talk, suckers! <clears throat> Any of the guns, so. oh, we do have guns over here. Let's just equip it. Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Will. I'm here for you! 
Place it with something where we have bullets. Okay. Yo, I am from Game Them. Hi, bro. What's up? Uh, probably take this one as well. We're done. Shot and we're done! 
good last checkpoint, okay, sure. Come to top, I'm just gonna exit. We got eyes on this turf. Careful. the sneakiest way possible. Watch out! No markers! Come on out! We can be friends! The fuck! Almost got me! 
Your call. Detonator armed. Oh, tough. They got eyes on this turf. Careful.
Okay, we have marked everyone, I think. Uh, see exit. They got eyes on this turf. Careful. <gasps> Back into my sights! It's going down! Get out of here. Any new guns, boys? No begging, no debt, no corpo strings attached, and the flathead's ours. 
That's the way to do biz, V. Uh, later then. Tough to argue. Yeah, cause I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. Ah, I love this town. A city of endless opportunity and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street'll talk. The street'll remember. It's a win-win. What now, Jack? What now? Now I go back, find Misty, do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Catch a fright back there, that you wouldn't make it back. <laughs> Shit like that don't cross my mind. But I am grateful for coming through. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo veo. Mr. V. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo woman? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Guns do we have? I want to equip that yellow gun. Okay, this one. Yeah, this one. looks so nice. Okay, do you have any attachments for this? Nope. Yes, we do have the melee. Which are you? Which does are you? Damage 83.687.1. Holy shit.
forgot we are playing fucking Looking a little put out there, Input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. And I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, Input. My, Welcome to Lizzie. What a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a, uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. I'm gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. And? Like what you see? If I didn't, rest assured. You'd know. Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, Nothing's what wrong. can a horny really? girl like me Why don't you tell me the truth? I just told you. A little vanilla sprinkle. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on... Long contracts and short leashes. Loyal... Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? 
In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the ring? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plan. Tell me. Okay, okay, let's go outside. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an... So we're not jumping the corp. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provide... Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking Would off to in those boxes. Like anything else? No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Yo, what's up? Speed run. Hello, Jay Shankar. What's up, bro? Oh, 
this is the flashing light scene, I guess. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, hey, uh, now. Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was... too much. Felt... I feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Can I, can I? All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. 
Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in. Yeah, yeah. We shall leave those like the studio. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun Plan that Gump gets from Do his buddy odd. at the beginning. Don't get creep. Now scan it. You... Go, go in. Snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay. On you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go restock. I'll take the register. register. And a How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpentine. Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! What? I see a kid! It's in the flooring! Muddy! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. shot him and he never saw it coming but you will here it comes my favorite part of the game see the blinking thing over the entrance surveillance cam must have caught our shooter you'll see in a sec cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk roll back to where the screens in the kids field of vision then scan it His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Yeah, I think I'm done.
Bye. Get it together, please.